today on an all-new Dr. Phil. Your son, left to his own devices, will be dead inside a week. Oh. Bobby Christina's boyfriend. He seems to be unraveling in a really bad way. He blames himself for all of this. He has said to me he is going to kill himself. Now. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> I'm so sorry for everything. Nick Gordon. I miss Chrissy and Whitney so much. <laughs> I want them back. The exclusive interview. I hate Bobby Brown. We've been drinking a lot though, right? That turns. You got a man up. Don't tell me to man up. I just did. Into an intervention. I want you to go straight to rehab. I'm done with the interview. I'm done. I'm yeah. done. From Atlanta, Georgia, here's Dr. Phil. He's the one man everyone wants to hear from. And today, in an explosive exclusive, Nick Gordon faces cameras for the first time since Bobby Christina Brown was rushed to this Atlanta hospital clinging to life. 21-year-old female in the bathtub, paid it down. The daughter of the late singer Whitney Houston found unconscious in a bathtub. Bobby Christina was revived, but is said to still be in danger after this incident, which eerily echoes the circumstances of the death of her famous mother. On January the 31st, there were three people in the house, Bobby Christina, Nick Gordon, and their friend Max Loomis. He is the person who actually found Bobby Christina in the bathtub. He called out for Nick. And it came and administered CPR. CPR in progress. She is gurgling at this time. The husband performed CPR until rescue arrived and transported her to the hospital. Bobby Christina was without oxygen for five to eight minutes, according to published reports. There's been significant brain injuries. She may never be able to walk out of the hospital if she does survive. Despite reports that Bobby Christina's brain function has significantly diminished, her family remains hopeful and have been at this hospital praying for a miracle. But there's been one person missing from Bobby Christina's bedside vigil, the man she called her, quote, husband, Nick Gordon. The boyfriend of Bobby Christina Brown is now making a new push to visit her in the hospital. Nick Gordon went on Twitter saying, quote, let me in the hospital to see my girl. She will wake up. We learned that both the Brown and the Houston families have made it clear that Bobby Christina's boyfriend is not welcome in her hospital room. I have a spouse that I love more than anything. He is my backbone. Bobby Christina tweeted in January last year, hashtag happily married, so in love. I'm married. We're really, really very happy. After Bobby Christina was put in the medically induced coma, Bobby Brown said Nick Gordon is not married to his daughter. There is no marriage certificate. Bobby Brown's attorney said the family offered Gordon an opportunity to visit, but that he declined their terms, saying, quote, Mr. Gordon is not as desperate to visit Bobby Christina as he wants the world to believe. My dad is like, hey. You know, <laughs> of course, it's another yeah, every male. Every time he would see me, she'd be <laughs> uh, with my daughter. Whitney never adopted Nick Gordon, but did allow him to live with her famous family, growing up alongside Bobby Christina. I'm not any different than anyone in this world. And just and under a microscope. Yeah. Times, some, times yeah, 10. ten. Bobby Christina and Nick have always claimed that Whitney was a great supporter of their relationship, but I think Bobby Brown is disapproving. I don't think he sees his daughter benefiting from a relationship with Nick Gordon. He would very happily cut him out of the picture entirely. We came to Atlanta with the purpose of doing the first sit-down interview with the man Bobby Christina called her husband, Nick Gordon. He has not been willing to open up to police or anyone else until now. When we arrived, we realized this was a very serious situation, and if Nick didn't get help, he could end up dead. In the early hours before I met Nick, he was in this state. Uh, uh, it's okay, it's okay. Oh. Okay, you right? you guy. What was supposed to be an interview quickly turned into an intervention. I can't walk. I miss Chrissy. I do. Nick's attorneys did not want Nick to do any media. But when Nick's mother, Michelle Gordon, reached out, they decided that this might be the only way to save Nick's life. His mom has flown in from Orlando, Florida to be here. She is desperate to get Nick the help he needs. Have you seen Nick since you got here? 
No, sir. He does not know you're here at all, correct? No, sir. But you have been in contact with him, I understand, pretty much on a daily basis, right? Yes, sir. Tell me what your assessment is of where he is mentally, emotionally. Nicholas is at a breaking point. He still has not gotten over the fact that he was not able to revive Whitney. He cannot bear not being with Chrissy by her side. He has blamed himself for her being in the condition that she's in. He's torn up by that. Um, he's dealing with it by drinking. I have begged him, I've instructed him to stop. It doesn't help. So I, I have an understanding, and I want to be sure that I'm clear about this. Your son ha has known Chrissy from a very young age. Yes, sir. She was 12. At what point did he actually begin to live with, with Whitney and Chrissy? Nicholas turned 18 in May, I believe. Whitney, he started living living with Whitney and Bobby Christina during 2008 after after his 18th birthday. But they had been very close for a long time. Correct. My life changed dramatically when I met uh, Chrissy and Whitney. I was going to high school. My mom had kicked me out of the house. And Chrissy being my friend, um, I got to know Whitney. She took me in. We were best friends a long, long, long ago. But this was not a romantic relationship between the two of them. No, sir. They were friends. It was just very friendly, kind of a brother-sister kind of su support. Yes, of one sir. another, just friends, always being there for each other. Yes. But then around 18, he started to actually reside and travel with them as well, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It really bothers me that everybody has a relationship screwed up. I was never adopted, nor am I her blood brother. We just really cared about each other. It was never anything that these people are saying that it's incest, none of that. And now I'm in love with him. When the situation with Whitney took place, what was his involvement with her that night? With uh, the with death? With Whitney, of... yes, with her death. He, as far as, I, from what I understand, he, um, he wasn't, I don't believe he was on the floor in the, uh, in the hotel. Um, I think he was in his, maybe in his room and he heard the assistant scream, and he ran into the room and saw Whitney lying there. The body of the 48-year-old singer was found in her hotel room at the Beverly Hilton. Whitney's entourage was just a few steps away as she was dying in a bathtub for a reported 30 minutes. When she was found by her assistant and her assistant screamed out, Nick Gordon came running, saw the scene of Whitney on the floor, unconscious. Nick claims that he tried to administer CPR. My understanding is that she was pulled out by somebody or persons on her staff prior to any paramedics or hotel security arriving on scene. So he, he came in and she was in the tub? He, she, she, at, the, at that point, she was on the floor and he administered CPR to her. And he, he called me when he was standing in front of her body. And what did he say to you? He just couldn't understand why he couldn't revive her. What did he so say? He, he just said, Mommy, why, why couldn't I do CPR on her? I couldn't get the air in her lungs. Paramedics showed up here at the Beverly Hilton and tried to resuscitate her. 12 minutes later, 3.55 p.m., the 48-year-old singer is pronounced dead. The final cause of death has been established as drowning uh, due to heart disease and cocaine use. Then we now fast forward to Chrissy, and he's there on this occasion as well. Mm -hmm. What did he tell you about this? Coming up. Details from that night. Chrissy, Nick, and Max went out Friday night. They were drinking. Chrissy and Nick had an argument. Do you think the family believes that Nick hurt her? Plus. I've learned in the last 48 hours. He has really gone out of control, screaming that he wants to die. Left to his own devices, he'll be dead inside a week. Tomorrow 
on Dr. Phil. They caught their mom sexting during a family vacation. I don't want to mess up my marriage. I just wanted to go have a good time. His mom leading a secret life. You just thought you could hide what you were doing and that you'd never get caught. It's none of your business. I would guess it is your husband's business. That's tomorrow. Phil exclusive. The Nick Gordon Intervention. Just on the eve of Bobby Christina's 22nd birthday, Nick posted that he was so hurt, he was going to hurt himself. He's threatened to take his life. He's a young man who is under a huge amount of stress, who's under the influence of drugs and drink in an incredibly difficult time of his life. He is a very, very troubled man right now. And Nicholas is at a breaking point. He cannot take too much more of not being able to see Chrissy. He has blamed himself for her being in the condition that she's in. When you say Chrissy, you mean Bobby Christina? Yes, sir. I can imagine it was difficult for him that night. What did he tell you about this? Uh, the incident? Mm -hmm. Chrissy, Nick, and Max went out Friday night, and they went to a party or a club and they were drinking. They got home very early in the morning on Saturday. Christy and Nick had an argument. Nick walked away from the argument, went, went to um, another bedroom uh, to fall asleep, and Christy went up to her room and drew a bath. Not as a take a bubble bath. From what I understand, from what Nick's telling me, the cable guy came over, maxed up the cable guy in the house, and they, he needed to enter into the bathroom for some kind of access, and Max found her. He pulled her out of the tub, and he, he doesn't know how to do CPR, so he went to get Nicholas, and Nicholas was able to do the CPR on her for 15 minutes, and police arrived, and they didn't help him. Nobody helped him until the EMTs got there. I'm trying to understand. So he's alone again mm -hmm. in this situation with somebody he loves trying to help them and uh, can't get it turned around. No. Um, has he? talk to you about how this has affected him? Nicholas continually just expresses how much he has failed Whitney because Whitney asked Nicholas to protect Chrissy. And Nicholas has always felt like he was a protector of Whitney and Chrissy. And he's, he says that if Chrissy dies, it's going to be his fault because she should have survived due to his CPR. So he, he blames himself for all of this. So here's two people that he's loved and lived with, and he's been there in both situations and feels like he should have turned something around. The reason I'm asking this and drilling down on it is because I need to know what's in his head because at, at this point, he seems to be unraveling in a really bad way from what I have seen and understood. Do you believe he is at a critical point right now? Yes. Uh, and what makes you know that? Have you talked to him on the phone where he is? What has he said to you that makes you believe he is? He has said to me many times that he is going to kill himself. And he's tried. <laughs> How has he tried? Taking pills. Has this been recent? Yes. How recent? I know two weeks ago he tried and he called his younger brother and told his younger brother not to tell anybody. But my youngest son, Jack, called me and I called Nicholas and I couldn't get a hold of him. So I called the gentleman that Nick was staying with, and I asked him to watch Nicholas. Nicholas threw up the pill. He was able to throw up the pills. Do you know what he took? 
I believe he took Xanax and Unisom. And he has a prescription for Xanax, correct? That's what he says. You know he's been drinking heavily? Yes. You made it weird. So bad. Ugh. Because I, I had been told, this is why I'm asking, because I figure you would know as, as well as anyone, that Whitney and Bobby Christina and Nick a attended rehab together a, a number of times, actually Correct. three times. Correct. If he hadn't had trouble with drugs or alcohol, why was he going to rehab three times? I believe Whitney wanted to keep them all together as a family, so she took Nicholas everywhere her and Chrissy went, Nick went. They never separated, they were always together. So you're saying Whitney was going because she had the problem? Yes, sir. And she took Nick into rehab even though he did not have a problem? I don't, from me listening to my son on the phone and speak, talking to him on Skype, he never appeared to be high off of drugs or inebriated by alcohol. Three times? He, mm-hmm. I'm, Two to three times. Wow, I've never heard that. I've been doing this 35 years. I've never heard of anybody taking a posse to rehab. I, was Bobby Christina there mm -hmm. as support, or was she there because she had a problem? I'm assuming she had a problem, sir. Have you talked to him on the phone when he's been seriously intoxicated? Yes. What is he saying? What is that he doing? That he wants to die. Oh, he's just full of pain and hurt and he wants to see Chrissy he told me he just wants to hold her hand he wants to rub her feet and he's in a lot of pain because of that and he said he can't take it anymore <clears throat> he doesn't want to live why do you think he's being blocked from being with her it's her father his pride and selfishness he won't let Nicholas see Chrissy because of his pride and his feelings towards Nick. Do you think the family believes that Nick hurt her? I don't believe the Houston side believes that. I don't know about the Browns. My son would never try and hurt Chrissy. I don't care what they think. My son would never hurt anyone. Let me tell you where I think we are right now. From what I've seen, what I've tracked, what I've learned, I was scheduled to come here and interview Nick because he wanted his side of the story out. He felt like he was being vilified in the press, that he was being seen as some monster that had done terrible things and felt like he wanted to tell his side of the story and why he wanted to be with her. Let her feel his presence, hear his voice. That if, if it could help in some way, he, he wanted to do that. He wanted to tell his story. And in the time between that was scheduled and we got here, he has deteriorated so far. I do not believe that he's in a position to do that interview. I miss Chrissy. I do. I've learned in the last 48 hours between the time that this was confirmed and getting here that he has really gone exponentially down to the point that he is now in this building and screaming that he wants to die. and just out of control. At this point, I don't think he has any chance of turning this around on his own. I think left to his own devices, he'll be dead inside a week. Coming up. What I intend to do is bring him down here one way or another. I may bring him in here over my shoulder. Nick, I'm Dr. Phil. Monday on an all new Dr. Phil.
he gunned down American sniper Chris Kyle. Something snapped in my son. What did you say to yourself when you realized your boy had murdered two people? In an exclusive interview... I was telling my son to get out of the truck. It was a heart-stopping moment. His family reveals dramatic new details. You approach Chris Kyle and he agrees to help. I would have never asked if I had an idea that this could happen. All new Dr. Phil. Monday. We now return to the Dr. Phil exclusive, distraught and out of control, the Nick Gordon intervention. Your mom's death. I had times when I was very, very low. That was extremely hard. That was time. extremely hard. And then especially with the cruel things people had to say, the criticism actually... It made us strong. It, it put a fire in us. Yeah. Like... Nick is now in this building and screaming that he wants to die and just out of control. At this point, I don't think he has any chance of turning this around on his own. I think left to his own devices, he'll be dead inside a week. What I said to his lawyers who have said that they supported me coming here and being here now because they want him to get help. They want him to have help. And I said, look, I, I will come down there not to do the interview at this point, but to sit him down, make eye contact with him, and get him help. Because I think he will either kill himself, he will drink himself to death, something will happen. As we sit here right now, his life absolutely hangs in the balance, and I think you know that's true. I miss Chrissy. <laughs> What I intend to do is to leave you here for a few minutes and go find him here in this hotel and bring him down here one way or another. And he does not know you're here. And, and when he gets here, you and I have one mission with one possible outcome, and that is for him to agree to go to inpatient rehabilitation in a dual diagnosis treatment center to deal with his depression, his guilt, his alcoholism, his drug use, whatever it may be. I have a treatment center here. We have representatives here. They are on standby. Everything is set up, but you and I have to get him there and we don't take no for an answer. Yes. And when he says, oh, I don't need, I don't need it, I need you to say, I have talked to you on the phone. You have told me you're going to kill yourself. You have told me you want to die. You have tried to kill yourself. I will not leave until you agree to do this. We cannot take no for an answer. Right. And right now, he, he, needs, some, he needs some strong leadership. I see the pain in your face. I, I hear it in your voice. And... <laughs> Look, I, I just want you to know reinforcements have arrived here. Thank you. I may bring him in here over my shoulder. It's okay. But, well, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get him right now. Bring okay. Him. Nick. I'm Dr. Phil. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm here to talk to you. I want you to come with me. All right. Come on. Come this way. You been drinking some? Yeah. How much? Um, two shots. Two shots this morning? Yep. Slow down. Slow down. You don't know where you're going. No, this way. This way. Here we go. How are you feeling? I feel um like I miss Chrissy and Whitney. She means a lot to you. Please don't put this on TV. What don't you want on TV? Uh, me crying. Me being weak. Oh, you're not weak. You're just caring about somebody that means something to you. Come on, man. Okay. Mommy, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Mommy, <laughs> I'm so sorry for everything. It's okay. Okay, all right, all right, let's do this. Okay, let's do it, okay. All right, thank you. 
Ugh. Okay. Right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Mom, I would never hurt anybody. I like. I love people. I love babies. Everything. All right. So here we go. You're okay. Yep. Nick, um... Okay, so your you're, you're gonna ask. I, I have been drinking. Uh, um, I have been doing Xanax. Um, um, and that's it. I've been, I've been so, like, sober besides that. Deep breath, deep breath. You've been drinking a lot, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. I have been. Like, if you, um, walk, like, walk. I can't walk. Nick, I'm really sorry for your pain. I, I can't. No, you can't. You can't. My pain is horrible. My, like, my heart hurts. I have panic attacks. I'm not going to tell you that I know how you feel. Oh my gosh. Oh. You threaten suicide. I will. If any, like, if anything happens to Chrissy, I will. Please stop saying that. Please. Don't cry. I just want you to listen to Dr. Phil. I will. Okay, 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 I will. I will. <sighs> deep breath, deep breath. Come here, sit up. Nick. Coming up. You had to get yourself cleaned up. You got to man up. You got to straighten up. Please don't do tell me to man up. Uh, yes, I am going to tell you that. No, you're not. I just did. Now we return to our exclusive interview with Bobby Christina's boyfriend, the Nick Gordon Intervention. Nick, come sit by me, okay? Please, come sit by me. Nick, hold my hand. Hold my hand. You've been doing a lot of Xanax? Yes. Tell me why you're doing... Mom, you know what? Thank you for being here with me. My kidneys hurt so bad. Can I have your phone for a minute? No, because yeah. you'll take it away. No, I'm not going to take it away. Here, put it, put it with mine. Here, yeah, put it with mine. Just put it with mine, sweetie, okay? It's okay. It's all right. It's going to stay right there, okay? Why do your kidneys hurt? Um, I've been, uh, drinking. Have you been getting any sleep? No, not at all. I miss Chrissy and Whitney so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, I miss them so much. <laughs> you Nick, your mom? Huh? Your mom came in here. I don't want to talk anymore. I'm done. He's, he's I'm done. He's I'm done. I'm so done. Nick. I'm done. I don't care about the rehab. I don't care about anything. Um, I'm done. Boys, I'm done. I'm done. Somebody will stay with him, and uh, we'll get him back in here. And if we have to, we'll get a psychiatric commitment. If we have to, we're, fine. we'll do whatever we have to do. Yes. But we're not going to let him get away we're going to make sure he gets there we got one mission as i said we're going to, we're going to get it done but he's got to go through a process here okay. i've done this a million times he'll be back let me call in all this <laughs> calm down okay i can't yes you can mom i lost I lost the most legendary singer ever, and like I'm scared to lose Chrissy. Uh, pray, for, pray for Chrissy, right? Right? Prevent him, just breathe. 
Oh my gosh, I made him more famous. Okay, so Nick let's do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. What's up? Ask your um, questions. I don't really have any questions. Um, um, you want me to have answers. What I want you to do is... Go to uh, rehab. Yeah. I think you definitely need to go to, I a, do. to a medically I do. supervised rehab. Yeah, I do. And you can't help Bobby Christina the way you are. You can't help Chrissy like this. This is not helping. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're you right. You gotta get yourself cleaned up. You gotta man up, you gotta straighten up. You I've been get so strong to... for so many people for so long. So, do... so please you don't do tell me to man up. Now, yes, I am gonna tell you that. No, you're not. I just did. Coming up. I just can't lose Chrissy. I can't. But you have to get better and you must let Dr. Phil help you. And later. I hate Bobby Brown. I'm done. He gunned down American sniper Chris Kyle. Like he's all crazy. He's psychotic. Now. How can I love someone who's done this? His family opens up. My heart just kept saying no. I already could never do this. The exclusive interview. What did you say to yourself when you realize your boy had murdered two people? Monday, only on Dr. Phil. We now return to the Dr. Phil exclusive, distraught and out of control, the Nick Gordon intervention. Every morning I go upstairs, I'm like, good morning, Mom, I miss you. A lot of people, you know, when they lose somebody, they don't have the constant reminder that we have, seeing it's her seeing in the papers. It on, it's a fresh wound that we they keep cutting open. We've been through hell and back together, so I think that's what makes our relationship so strong and us so close. You you haven't been through what I've been through. No, I haven't. You haven't, so don't tell me that. And uh, uh, you, one thing you won't hear me say is that I know how you feel, because who can? Nobody. I cannot besides imagine. Besides me. I cannot mm -hmm. imagine going through what you've been through twice. Please let me talk, okay? I will. I will. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nick, I can't imagine going through what you've been through once, let alone twice. I just, I've got a son your age, and it would break my heart for him to go through what you've been through. And I, I'm sorry that you've been through it. I really am. I want to let all you guys know I did everything possible in the world to to protect them even though we did like everything you deserve to get some help here because let me tell you if you don't you know you're going to wind up dead you've tried to kill yourself you sound like um you're on xanax if i stick with you very long i might need some xanax <laughs> good 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 comeback Nick, here's the thing. Right now, you can't really trust your thinking, right? Right. So you got to trust somebody else's thinking. You don't know me. No, I do know you. But you know her. <laughs> what do you know about me, Nick? Um, you're Dr. Phil. You're famous like I am. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you think I know what I'm doing when it comes to mental health and that oh, sort of yeah. thing? Oh, yeah. Do you trust your mother? Yes, yeah, I mean, yes, sir. <laughs> your mother trusts me, right? Yes, sir. And I, I've been talking to your, your mother, and she asked me to help you. She said, please, please help my son. And I promised her I would. Are you listening to him? I am. Um... um I just can't lose Chrissy. I can't, Mom. I can't. Pray for her. I've been praying. Like, I wake up in, like, the middle of the night. You keep praying, okay? Okay. Just keep praying. But you have to get better, and you must let Dr. Phil help you. Mom, I want to stop talking now. Coming up. You're drunk and you're on drugs. You're taking Xanax, too, and you're taking too much of it. No, I'm not. I'm getting frustrated. 
Get to the point quick. Now we turn to the Nick Gordon intervention. Bobby Brown could hardly be more hostile. He will not let Nick Gordon visit Bobby Christina. Bobby Brown's decision to release a statement saying that Nick and Bobby Christina weren't married, that he had no right to be at his daughter's bedside, completely devastated Nick. Here's the thing. Mom, I want to stop talking now. But you don't have to talk. Dr. Phil's going to talk. All right, that's fine. I'll be quiet. Bottom line, I think you've gotten to the point where the alcohol you're taking, the Xanax you're taking, has gotten your brain scrambled up to the point that no. you need you need medical no, supervision. I'm a lot to... like San, like San Quentin. <clears throat> okay, so like I'm fine. We'll make you better than fine. We want to make you. Thank you, Doc. We want to make you sharp, you. guilt edge, so you can Mom, make the best. You decisions. have uh, Chrissy's ring. I didn't bring it. I did not bring it. Oh my gosh! It. I have Chrissy's engagement ring. He wants me to hold it. It's at home safe. Okay. <laughs> Is safe. I want you to leave here today. I want you to go straight to a rehab facility that's going to get you sobered up, cleaned up, and help in getting your thoughts. I promise out. I will. Okay. As a man. All right. All you're right. Gonna leave. You're going to leave here right now. Right now. You're going to get in the car. You're going to go there. Okay. Listen. I, I, let me explain what I want you to do because I want you to be very clear. Okay, can you focus here for just a minute? I understand that you're not... You're going, you're, you're, <clears throat> you're going through it rough. Be straight. I understand that you're not just some drunk out here. I understand that you're just not some doctor out here. That's right. Okay, so um, don't, don't, don't disrespect me, okay? Your mother and I talked about it. And, and like I said, I've got a son okay, your age. Get Listen to, to the me. point. Get I'm to getting the to the point. point. Get I'm to the point. point. I'm like, I'm getting, I'm getting frustrated. You're getting anxious. Yeah. Respect yeah. Nick, okay, please. I understand. I do respect him. Let him talk. You've got two things you've got to do. You've got to get detoxed. I right? am detoxed. No, you're not. You're drunk and you're on drugs. No, I'm drunk. You're taking Xanax too, and you're taking too much of it. No, I'm not. Too <laughs> bad. Uh, Do you agree that you're very depressed? Yes. I mean, two people in your life that you love and respect, you've lost one of them, you're in danger of losing another. Why don't That's you guys, why don't you guys stop filming me and like, take, take this, okay? All right, so there we go. So, all right, get to the point quick. Um, you have like two minutes. Nick, please. Please. I'm going to ask you to leave here and go not just to a rehab, but I'm going to I'm going to ask you when you're there to deal with this trauma that you've been through, so you have a chance to unburden yourself. It's terrible what you're living with, Nick. I'm going to seem so weak in front of the no, world, no, 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 no. Nick. You seem caring, <laughs> Nick. You don't seem weak. You okay. seem caring. No. You're not talking, you're not. I can't want them back. That's the only thing. I, I want them back. That's the only thing. I can't believe I'm crying in front of the world right now. Nick, you're just caring. You know, you want to be a protector for Chrissy. I know that. I hate Bobby Brown. But you've got to take care of yourself. Yeah, hate, you can't like, be a protector for Chrissy if you don't take care of yourself. You're right? right, you're right. You you're can't right. give away what you don't have. You cannot be a protector for Chrissy if you don't take care of Nick. I'm done now. I'll, I'll go to your treatment. Nick, All right, come All right. fine. Nick. All right. Nick, come here. Please. Coming up. So what if Chrissy calls my name and I can't, I, like, it's three hours away. My name will be the first she calls, okay? We knew Nick needed help, so we had people on standby from Willing Way Treatment Center here in Georgia. For 45 years, Willing Way's focus has been saving the lives of people with alcohol and drug problems. You cannot be a protector for Chrissy if you don't take care of Nick. I'm done now. I'll, I'll go to your treatment. Nick, All right. Nick, come, All right, fine. Nick, All right. Nick, come here, please. Oh. 
He's agreed to go. Getting him there is a different story. Oh. Alright. Don, please help me see Chrissy. Well, we gotta get you cleaned up first, right? Right. You can't go see anybody like this. No. I mean, you're up and down and around. Um, Gentlemen? Hey, Doc. Yo, Jimmy and Mary. Jimmy, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nick, Jimmy and Mary. Yeah. Night, really nice to meet you. Nice to meet John you. John Roster. Nice Nick to Gordon, you. nice to meet you. John, how are hey, you? Hey, Doctor, how you doing? John Roster. Uh, He's here, okay. Yes, these gentlemen are with the rehab facility. Tell them. My name's Jimmy Mooney. I'm uh, chairman of the board, and I'm also one of the owners. And that's uh, uh, Willing Way is a great facility. You're going to a great facility. And we want you to leave straight away and get started to get yourself under control. We want you to leave here now, go straight there. This is what you want, yes, correct? And, and how far is it from here to there? It's about a, a three-hour drive, maybe three a little more. Three-hour drive, and, and we're so, going to take so care of you. So what if Chrissy calls my name, and I can't, I, like, it's three hours away? If that happens, we'll deal with it. If it happens, it will happen. My name will be the first she calls, okay? All so right. Look at me in the eye. That happens. Dr. Phil will get a chopper on the ground at Willing Way, and we will fly you back to the facility. That's my commitment to you. I'll get a chopper okay, there. Okay, so have mine you back to like you that. is I'll be sober, I'll be clean, I'll be a good person. We just need to get you clean and sober. <sighs> All right, man. Okay, let's do this. All right. Oh, my God. Our thoughts and prayers are with Bobby Christina and both the Houston and Brown families during this tragic time. We will hope and pray for a miracle recovery that brings their Bobby Christina back to them. After our interview tape, the Houston family reached out to us. They say that Nick Gordon did not perform CPR in Whitney Houston and the police report reflects that. As for Nick, we hope that he works in this recovery program and gets himself straight, clean and sober so that we can sit down with him and talk about the events of that tragic night. What happened? What role did he play in all of this? This story is still unfolding. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.